All right, we are back with another setup and total cost video for a home do-it-yourself garage simulator. A, by far my last simulator video on the total cost, most successful video on the channel. And the reason I do these is because you might be considering building one of these for yourself. And I just wanna give you a real honest look at what that costs and what it looks like to put it down here. Now, we had to make some changes. The new setup, we rearranged some things, we have some new items. So is it cheaper or, or is it more expensive even now? We're gonna find out, but first, if this is your first time finding my channel, consider giving me a subscribe. It really lets me know that you guys like the content. I do all kinds of simulator videos. We do live streams down here on a weekly basis, course vlogs, all that stuff. So consider giving me a subscribe. It really means a lot, I appreciate it. But let's see what we did. Let's, let's have a look at it. Let's jump into this. With the redesign of the simulator, I really just wanted it to be its own space. It's have its own vibe, its own feel. We're down here all the time in the garage. We, we watch football games down here with, with our crew, picnic movie nights down here when my kids have had friends over for sleepovers. I'll even hook up the PlayStation to the protector and just put them in here for kind of like a camp out night. I can still park two cars in the garage as well. I have enough space to do that. So I'm just really happy with kind of the design and way it looks. And that really kind of all started with the biggest change of the simulator, <laughs> the new enclosure from 24 seven golf. Now the dimensions on this, it is 10 foot wide, eight and a half feet tall, and then five foot depth off the back. Now this was provided to me by 24 seven golf. They are a channel partner. So again, if you're looking to build your own simulator, give them a check out. Uh, use the link below in the description, promo code, that should snag you a little discount. And you're gonna see uh, this stuff adds up pretty quickly. So take what you can get uh, when you can get it. Enclosure retails for $2,500 alone. So that's the biggest change. And I can tell you, I am really, really impressed with this enclosure. A full review of the 24 seven golf experience with their enclosure and their buy your own launch monitor kit will be coming soon. Okay, so that's the next video coming out. Super happy with the enclosure. It works really, really well. And really is kind of the whole anchor for the simulator. Now the turf here, below me in front of the enclosure. That's just landing area turf. Give it a more refined look. Now I had to actually bring up the thickness of that turf to be level with my hitting mat. So I had to buy some flooring tiles to raise that half inch foam. Those were $110.86. And then all the landing area turf itself was $360. Now for the hitting mat, it's a country club elite five foot by eight foot hitting mat. Still using the same one. I've had this one for a year now, still in very, very good condition. I've hit thousands of balls on this guy. And really the only sign of wear is some slight discoloration of kind of where my you know dedicated hitting area is. Really good hitting mat, that was $797. And still the most expensive piece of gear for this simulator, the Mevo Plus. We're still running that, but we are using it on the indoor setting now. So I have roughly about 13 feet of ball flight from my hitting area to my screen. So I'm able to run the Mevo Plus on the indoor setting for a little bit more accurate readings. $2,118.94, not cheap. Not cheap. But listen, these guys run specials on Mevo all the time. So I'm not the best practitioner of patience sometimes. Keep an eye out, especially around major holidays. Flightscope generally always kind of runs maybe a $100 or $200 of promo code or discount. If you're not in a rush about it, you know, be patient. You can get it a bit cheaper than I did. Now, I also did pick up this stand off of Etsy. That was $42.99. Now, you're kind of gonna wanna get something like this as well, especially for my new setup. My garage floor is slightly sloped going towards this direction. So I needed a solution for that. This stand is perfect for it. Tons of people make these kind of stuff, but you're definitely gonna want something like that too. Now, also with the Mevo Plus, you're gonna get their app, FS Golf, which is gonna be able to allow you to track your data. And you also get a iOS version of E6 Connect with a few courses you can play right there. So you already have the ability to kind of jump into your practice and to have some fun with the simulator. But hey, you gotta put it on the screen somehow. So the projector, right? So this is a BenQ short throw projector. It was $793. $3.94. The mount to put it up on the ceiling was $34.95. So this is the same one I've been using for the past year. Happy with it. Good quality image. Like I mentioned, we watch football games on this. We watch movies and other stuff on this well too. All right, so let's pause right there for a second because technically everything I've listed so far is where my simulator finished with my last setup and total cost video, which 
actually, we're coming in cheaper now. So this right now is sitting at $6,961.62. So roughly over $1,000 cheaper than my last sim build. So that's a, kind of the basic cost, like a full simulator, I can hit balls with everything I just listed, ready to play some rounds and ready to practice down here in the garage. But you know, we, we did a little bit of more upgrading <laughs> along the way. And you know, I wanted it to be an experience down here as well. So we got a little bit, we got a little bit more uh, on the on the sheet here. <laughs> Let's see what we did. So first thing a bit extra uh, We got a birdie ball putting mat down here now This isn't actually connected to the simulator in any capacity I just got it because to work on my putting in practice that was two hundred and thirty eight dollars and forty nine cents I got a review for it check it out right here if you care to so I know I mentioned it a few times, but I really wanted the redesign of the space to just have its own its own vibe, be its own experience. So we added some like storage containers to hold balls and tees. Got my old car hood here and skateboard. Both of those have stories, by the way. So comment below or, or join the live stream and ask. I'll be glad to tell you about them. Got a picture of a, a Boss 302 old Mustang. That's actually my better half dream cars. Maybe one day. Outside of that, we have all the custom RGB lighting. I can change all the colors and all that stuff too to make it look different if I wanted to. That was 200 $143.59. Now, moving on, we're gonna start getting into what it actually takes to run what's here behind me, and that's GS Pro. It's a golf simulation software. It's been absolutely amazing. There's some other ones out there. Cheezyc 2019 is probably one of the more popular ones. I've never used it personally, but I'm confident in saying GS Pro is better. It has, it's constantly being updated, bug fixes, new courses are being added. There's already well over 200 courses. Right here, we're on number seven at Pebble Beach. So it's been a lot of fun using it, has a lot of different features to it. And hey, it's, it's cheaper too. $250 a year annually, or you can buy it outright if, if you want to, but I'm, I'm subscribed in it for $250 a year. So you're gonna need something to run the program, GS Pro or TG2019. It's gonna require a, a decent computer. And this one, it's a, I feel it's a bit controversial. I don't know how I feel about putting it in here um, because I, I'm currently running this on my laptop. It's a MSI G65 Stealth, but I use this computer for absolutely everything. I use it for work, for play, for all the video editing for this channel, for the live streaming that I do on the channel. But you know, it was $2,000 and it's required. So it's part of the simulator. So, you know, it has to go in there. 2K on the computer. Now I, I'm confident that if you're building your own simulator, you can probably find something a bit cheaper, whether it's a tower mount and, and whatever works for you in your, in your build. Can you actually just dedicate a computer to your simulator? This is just what works for me and what, what I needed to do for my setup. Uh, yeah, that's uh, <laughs> that racks up the total cost quite a bit, but, but there's more, okay, there's more. So with the Mevo Plus and GS Pro, you're gonna need a second Wi-Fi antenna. They're not too expensive, but that's in order for you to communicate with the Mevo Plus and then also be connected online. That was $21.29. And then finally, we kind of run into all those just kind of little items that just add up. All the cords, the, the power cords, the HDMI cords, all that stuff that you need to get it all connected and running. And for me, that was $217.23. So that's all the items listed for the new simulator build, which brings us to a total of $9,478.68. So there you have it. There's the new setup, there's the cost, and uh, we need something right here. <laughs> yeah. So there you have it, total cost for the new setup down here in the garage. Listen, there's always different ways to do this. You can probably do cheaper, even upscale it if you really wanted to, but that's an honest look for what it what it takes to put together a space like this. Thankfully enough, the, the better half <laughs> didn't dispose of me last time. Hopefully we can keep that going. For all of you that have subscribed to the channel, given this channel a watch, just thank you so much over the past year. I'm working on something special, I think, for a thousand subscribers if we can get there. So if you have any questions at all on the simulator, leave a comment. Hey, come join the live streams too. Thursdays around 6 p.m. East. Check the discount code for 24 seven golf in the description and we'll see you in the next videos, guys. Cheers. Peace.